five years ago this month, Wall Street giant Lehman Brothers failed, triggering a real financial crisis. Are you prepared for the next one? Markets recovered from the panic long ago and are now near all-time highs. But many people can't say the same for their portfolios because they didn't stick to a few simple guidelines. Follow these six proven concepts and you should be better prepared. Number one, following the news closely is more likely to hurt than help. Prudent investing is a long-term endeavor, but the media is fueled by the short time. It's provocative, controversial, even sensationalistic to keep you coming back for more. In short, the media is an enemy of patience and discipline. Number two, financial planning is critical to making good decisions. The best decisions are made with relevant information, proper perspective, and emotions in check. Sound financial planning expects markets to be volatile and adjust to the fluctuations that always come. Number three, you don't need market insight or good timing for rebalancing to be effective. Buy low, sell high, so simple to say, but sometimes tough to do, particularly when the market's going berserk. Year after Lehman Brothers collapsed, the markets hadn't recovered, but many rebalanced portfolios had. Number four, stocks offer the best odds long term. When you own stocks, you're an owner of those businesses. No matter what the economic, tax, or political environment, corporations are looking to make money, and the ones that succeed become worth more. This is a big reason why the market has always recovered. Number five, diversification reduces risk. As in many past crises, during the 08-09 market declines, stocks around the world dropped in value. But good bonds made money, and it didn't take long for patient, disciplined investors to benefit from owning broadly diversified stocks. Lastly, number six, buy and hold beats the alternatives. Buy and hold never means the market can't go down, and it doesn't mean buy and ignore. There are many opportunities when stocks drop, and you can seize them if you have a good plan. As a group, active traders, stock pickers, market timers, hedgers, and providers of so-called alternative investments failed to outperform the markets. And once again, resilience trumps nimbleness. Instead of buying what brokerages have to sell, we believe that if you manage your intake of news, you have a good plan, stay diversified, and exercise some patience and discipline, you have a better chance of getting a good result. Invest, don't speculate. For more on these ideas, visit the Our Thoughts page of our website for the post titled, Are You Ready for the Next Financial Crisis? And if you have questions, we would love to hear from you.